Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and take a look at solo number four, and um, this is a this is a pretty intense solo. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to kind of break it down to a couple little sections in order to teach it to you best, so that we're not you know uh, going back and grabbing the very beginning of it every time and trying to kind of rehash the whole thing. Sometimes it's easier to kind of break it up into chunks. Um, we're going to start with that real fast lick that starts out, and uh, that one's based on the harmonic minor mode. So um, it's a really cool scale when to kind of play play through that scale and kind of show it to you just so that when we learn this lick you can kind of hear and see that um, where this lick was derived. So we're starting on seven since this is an E harmonic minor. Note that that right there just gives it that sound. Here again. So now let me go ahead and play the lick, and um, and then I'll take it all the way through um, to the bending part, and then it gets back into more of a bluesy kind of thing. All right, here we go. Two, three, four. Now let's go ahead and break this lick down. We start with a little pickup note, eight to nine on the third string, on the G string. Then we do a trill, seven, eight, seven on the second string. Back to nine on the third string. Then back to seven on the second string. Then we bend. Then it goes to this little pull-off lick on the first string where they go. Let's take it up to there. Now what we do is we kind of do this little scale climb, this horizontal scale climb, starting on eight. We're gonna do eight, 11, 12, slide to 14. Then we're gonna go 11, 12, 14, slide to 15. Then we're gonna go on the last string, we're gonna do a little scale run, 12, 14, 15, 14, 12. and then 15 on the second string. So let's take it to there. Then here's the part that's really tricky. After you go, then you have to jump back and grab 14, 11. This is the part that kind of trips everybody up. Pull off, so. Then you jump back up to 12 and go trill, 12, 14, 12, to 15 on the second string, back to 12, 15, 12 on the second string, 14. All right, let's take it up to there now. Two, three, four. Now, for those of you that need help with that fast lick, that first little part, another thing that you can do is to kind of break it up into even smaller sections. So, starting from the first little section, we would go one, two, three, four, and then here's the downbeat of one. One, two, three, four. All right. Then we go to the pull-off. So, breaking it up, we got the first little section. Second section, bend. Then we do our horizontal climb. Again. All right. 
And then we have the last little scale run. Okay, so now we're going to go to a lot of bending on the in this little blue section here. We're going to start on the 15th fret on the second string. So we bend 15 twice, then bend it again, release to 12, and then to 14 on the third string. So we're going to go. Then we do it again, the next measure, same thing. Then we go up a whole step to 17, we bend that twice. Then we go to 15 on the first string, back to 17. All right, so from the 17. Back to 15 and 17, so right in that general area. All right, so from the 15th, all right, a little bit slower now. Here we go. One, two, three, four. So let's kind of um, talk about that little section right there. Lots of bends, lots of things going on. I highly suggest starting it out at a slow tempo and kind of building it up to reach that tempo. Um, lots of um, kind of the rep repetitive phrasings, and, and we'll get into more repetitive phrasings as the solo goes along. Uh, another quick note is I like to bend a lot of times with the pinky. Um, my pinky is equally strong, you know, to my third finger in relationship. For those of you that, you know, your pinky's not quite there and you feel like bending with the third finger, that's totally acceptable and fine. Um, just wanted to kind of put that out there and let you know that um, that's always an option too as well. So now let's kind of keep on moving and we'll, we'll pick it up to the next part. So now let's go ahead and do the next phrase and what I'm going to do is play it for you and take it up to that spot and then we'll kind of break it down a little bit. Two, three, four. Okay, so we're going to start with the 15th fret, 2nd string, and we're going to bend up full step to 12 on the 1st string, back to 15, 12 on the 2nd string. Then we go bend release 14 on the 3rd string, 12, back to 14. This is the part that gets a little bit tricky rhythmically. And then you're going to go 12, 14, 12. And then back to 14. So we got. That's the easiest way to phrase that part there. Then we have one more quick little burst before we get to the bend. Back to 12, 14, 12 again. So one more time. All right, now I'm gonna speed it up. Two, three, four. All right, now that takes us to the bending section. We're gonna bend up with the third finger. Pinky's gonna hold the 15 on the second string. Four times. Then on the fifth one, we bend up, but then we hit the 15 on the last string and then the second string. Very country-ish. So we got. And then I kind of bend and release to 12. 14 on the fourth string, and then 14, 12 on the third string, and, that's, and that takes it. And then little ghost there at the end. So let me take that last section there with the bending. Two, three, four. All right. 
Now let me walk you through that whole section one more time slow. Two, three, four. All right, now let me take it back up to normal tempo and um, we'll go ahead and move on to the next section after this. Two, three, four. The next section is kind of a little repetitive type of phrase and we're gonna kind of move through it. So we're gonna take that all the way until the real fast lick. So um, we're gonna start here on 12. I'll go ahead and play it for you. Two, three, four. All right, now let me go ahead and kind of walk you through it. The first two bars are the same thing. We're gonna start with the 12, a little bit of vibrato, 14, 12, 14 on the fourth string, ghosting twice and then a trill 12, 14, 12, and then back to 14 on the fourth string, so. Really wanna get that feel in there. Kinda of really intertwines in that rhythm there. All right, so two times of that lick, guys, all right? Just, I, I went and you know, probably played it for you about eight times, but it's just two times. Also, too, notice I'm kind of ghosting in between there. All right, so that takes a little while, you know, as well to kind of get that feel, feel going. Um, now we go to a little kind of a cool little picking lick here. So we're gonna start on 12, double hit. 14, 12, pull off on the fourth string. Then 14 on the thir or third string, double hit. And then 12, 14. Double hit on 12 on the second string. 14, 12 on the third string, pull off. Let's take it to there. 15 on the second string, double hit. So we'll pull off on 12. 12 on the first string, double hit. 15, 12, pull off on the second string. All right, so here's what we got so far. Okay, one more time. Three, four. Now we go to the last little phrase here, and it's gonna go 15, 14 on the first string. Kind of a little minor feel there. And then a little flurry. 15, 12, 15, 12, pull off. Back to 15. And that little flurry kind of gets us ready for this next repetitive lick. So now let's take that whole entire section there, phrase it, you know, a little bit on the slow side and um, see what we have. Two, three, four. One more time a little faster. Two, three, four. Okay, so now we're ready for the last little section of solo number four here. And um, the best way to do it is to just learn this repetitive lick up front. But I'm gonna go and play the whole section so that way you get a feel for it and then uh, we'll get cranking on it. Two, three, four. <laughs> All right, 
so now let's take a look at this section. First starts with a repetitive lick. It's an E blues lick. And um, starts with a bend on 15 on the second string. Followed by 12 on the first string. Pull off 15, 12. And then 14 on the third string. To 12 on the first string. And then 15, 12, pull off. All right, that's the repetitive lick. That lick's gonna happen four times. So here's the lick again. So with this lick, before we move on to the, the next section, it's a repetitive lick. It's definitely kind of a, like a signature slash type of lick. Um, you notice the first note of the phrase, then there's a similarity, and then it um, goes to another bend, and then like the same lick. So basically, take that lick over and over and over, slow tempo, build it up to speed, and then once you get to that speed, it really kind of starts taking, taking a nice little twist. Um, and you'll kind of notice that once you break a speed barrier with this lick, it, it kind of really takes on a whole new form. So over and over and over, just repeat that. All right, over and over and over. That's the best way to kind of work on that. All right, now we go to the next section. Um, we start with 15th fret bend on the first string, whole and a half step. All right, and it kind of starts and gradually raises up. And back to 15 with some vibrato. All right, then we go 15, 12, um, trill. 15 on the second string, 12, kind of like a Layla thing. All right, so we got. Then we go to 15 on the second string, bend up. 12 on the first string, 15, 12, pull off. 14, 12, gradual release, bend on the third string. Then you bend up, hit the 15 with the pinky, another gradual release, bend, 14 on the fourth string. All right, one more time on that part. And then the last little part, you're gonna go 14, 12 on the third string, and 14 on the fourth string, and then hit 12, and just kind of slide out of it. All right, one more time, a couple more times, real slow. Two, three, four. One more time, just really check your phrasing, try to line it up with me. Two, three, four. So um, we talked about the you know the repetitive lick over and over the the half the whole and half bend there on the 15th fret gradual okay so just really try to work on that area and then um, and then the the lick kind of you know stays in one area but there's a lot of stuff going on so really just try to work each little section if you have to kind of keep rewinding and 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 learning it phrase by phrase with me then that's perfectly fine. Because obviously the next step is to take this solo number four and go all the way from the beginning. So you really want to make sure you get each section, you know, exactly like how we broke it down for you and, um, and go from there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that whole entire solo, slow it down for you. You can try to play along with me. And then once you can play along with me, then I'd say, you know, we're ready to try to do the whole thing at, you know, tempo, obviously.
One, two, three, four.